Darkroom Booth 2.0 includes a new feature that allows you to play videos at different times during your booth operation. So I'll show you uh, an example here. And in this case, you'll see I've got a help button here. And uh, this could be maybe an about us or anything that you'd want. But you'll see when I click on the button, it's going to play a short video. Um, and again, this could be any video that you choose. Uh, maybe it's an explaining video of how to use the booth, you know, how long it's going to take, that sort of thing. Then you'll see whenever I've, I've set up, whenever I start the session, it's going to play another video at the beginning of the session. Um, again, this could be some kind of advertisement or maybe a video host telling them, you know, what to do. And then you're going to see one more video when the timer goes off. And so I'll go ahead and cancel the session. So you, you see uh, three videos there, and depending on where I want the video to play and what I want it to do, you'll set that up in different places. So the shutter effect video, that would be something that you would want um, potentially all the time. And so that's going to be controlled under global settings and under device control. And you'll see the different times during the booth. And so if I go to before photo, I can see I've got it just playing that video before uh, photo one and photo two and I would set that to all the photos but when I click here you can see there's my video and then I've got a couple options if you want to skip it aspect ratio um, that sort of thing so if I was going to add a video you just click here and hit OK so if you see if I wanted to add it before photo three add video and browse so that's how you would set videos before photos like so. Now for some of the other videos those are going to be driven by the booth template. So if I edit my template and the first thing I like to do is uh, make it a little bit cleaner uh, here. So if I double click on this button again you'll see I have this new box that says device control and under there I've got it set to play a video when someone clicks on that button. And you can see I could add another video. There's all sorts of other options I can do. So that's how I play that video. And same thing, here's my button to start the session. Uh, so the booth command is start session. But then I'm also going to have it play a video. And then there's that video that it's playing. And that is how you play videos in Darkroom Booth 2.0.